Hello everyone, welcome to the 25th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. Okay, so within this video, we will create an in-place element. Now, what's an in-place element? This right here, the model in place, is what we're going to be using. Now, I know that we've already done a couple of this in our previous video, but now I think it's a good time to explain these parts. So, let's get started. First, let's do this away from our model. Let's go to our ground floor. Let's make us floor here. A small one would do like this. Now, click this one. And where's the bottom? This one, selection box. Okay. Let's change this to something that we can see. You know what? Never mind. That's good. Now, let's start. Go here in component. Model in place. Pick a family category. Usually, I just make my generic model. You can pick whatever you want from here. So again, I'm going to go with generic model. I'm going to use this name. Now, let's start with an extrusion. It's, it's a solid 3D that we can shape using a sketch. Also, if you hover your mouse through any of this, again, there will be a tooltip video that will help us understand it more. Like so. Okay, so there are two forms here. One is a usual form here. Next is the void form. So let's start with a solid form. Let's create an extrusion. Just click this one. Select what we're going to use here. Let's use a rectangle for now. Oh, first, let's set our work plane. Pick a plane and click right here. Zooming in will help you a bit like this. All right. Now, just make something here at the edge. You know what? Let's pick this one right here. There we go. So now it's a little bit thinner, but we can see it better to toggle that off. Okay. Once you create a sketch, you will see here, as usual, in the properties palette that we have an extrusion end at the start, as well as a material. So for now, let's just click finish on this one and let's see what's going to look like. There it is. Now, you can play around with the height or you can use this value right here. If you change this to 500, it will update like so. You can already also play around with its width and length like this. We can resketch it again by clicking here and change it from here. You can also use a dimension like this or here as we play around with it. Also, if you click here, you will notice that you can edit here like so. So let's make this 500 and let's make this also 500. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish that. We can also apply a material. Let's use something distinct like a... Hmm, Let's use something like this one. Or you know what? This looks better. Click OK. There it is. Well, that sucks. Let's use something else. Let's use an outdoor wood. What is that? That's wrong on my end. Let's use something else. Now, I hope it's going to be better. All right, there it is. So just click finish on that. And there it is. There's our generic extrusion that we have right here. Of course, we can do some more. Let's go ahead and do something else. Let's try the others next. Again, go to architecture, component, model in place, generic. Let's use blend next. Now, what a, what's a blend? It allows you to make like a cone or something very similar. Let's use a rectangular for the first one and let's make one right here. Next, let's edit the top. We can use something else like a circle. So let's do it something like here. Now we're just, we're just actually winging it. We're not really doing it in a proper way, like doing it in a ground floor since we're doing it in 3D. 
Now let's see what's going to look like if I press finish. There it is. Notice how it angles itself to the left. That's because we sketch it using in 3D and we don't really have a good definition of a plan view of how it is. Now let's add a material so it would look a little bit better. Let's use the same thing we use on the other one, which is this one. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this there. We can increase this by making it 500. There it is. And finish. There. Now let's attach it to top of the floor by pressing a line here. And there we go. Let's do the same here. Align to the top of the floor, to the bottom of the extrusion. There we go. You know what? Let's try and move this circle somewhere else. Go back to edit in place. Edit the top. Click top here. And let's match it to the center of the square by using the move tool. And somewhere here should be good. There we go. So now it's going to look a little bit better. Okay. You can extend it like this if I press finish. Why did it cut like so? I think this is the section box issue. So let's try and fix that. Section box is thick, meaning it's off here. There is the reason. So if I increase this, there it is. All right, now let's try the others. Go back to architecture, component, model in place. Let's use sweep next. We've already done sweep before, but you know what? Let's try it. Sweep, pick a path. Let's pick the edge of the floor, like here. Finish. Now let's do a profile, edit profile. And this one right here. Now let's do a design sketch by clicking here. This one here. To make things more interesting, let's add a fillet here. Alright, now let's add a fillet somewhere by using this one. You can use just 10, should be good. Here and here. Doesn't look much. Again, there. Alright, let's finish this and let's see. Continue. Something seems to be wrong somewhere. Right here. So let's stream it here and let's see what's going to look like now. Showing an error somewhere. Let's go ahead and find where that is. Now, where could that problem be? You know what? Let's just delete everything. Ah, it's right here. Okay, again. Undo. Delete that part. Should be okay now, I hope. There it is. Now it's proper. Okay, and same as the others, we can add a material here if you want. So now let's finish that. Let's try the void next. But one extra tip, let's hide this. You can actually edit the current extrusion that we made. So let's use this one right here. Edit in place. Go to create, void form, or rather, let's use something else first, like a sweep again. Let's add a sweep somewhere here. Maybe this area will be good. Just to show you that it works, edit profile and just add like a rectangular part here. Finish that. There it is. Next, let's do a void extrusion. Sorry, a void sweep. Go to create. Void. Void sweep. Now, let's use Void Sweep, Sweep Blend this time to show what it is. Pick Path here and here as well. Click Finish. Huh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, doesn't work that way. Again, click Finish. 
now like the blend right here is the sweep but that allows us to have a top in a bottom vertex so let's do let's do one let's use profile first edit it's right here whichever is highlighted I'm gonna put a square here since this a void it will cut through our existing extrusion finish now I will gonna do the other one which is here I'm gonna use a circle next here going right this okay now I'm gonna click finish on that again there it is see what happens that's what the void does it automatically cuts anything that appears or rather anything that's adjacent to it okay now let's do this in our model so let's finish this delete that go back and create it right here Untick this, there it is. Now let's select everything, press this one, there it is. Okay, now let's hide the section box. All right, now where should we do one? Let's do it right here and add some design or architrave on this part. Let's hide this first. Okay, go to architecture, component, model in place. Let's use generic. Now use sweep. Let's pick path here. Let's use this one. Let's pick the exterior finish. And here. And here. Alright, so this where our plane is gonna be. So it's going to be easy for us to sketch it now. Click here, select profile, edit. You can either do it from the top, like here, since we've got the plane here, or if already used to it, we will, we will do it in 3D, which is right here. Now, let's do a very simple design. Let's pick one here, and here as well. And there, all right. Next, let's trim this part. Only make it 200 and here 200 as well. I'm thinking of a good design. Let's do something like this here. There we go. And copy the same one on the other end. Something just very simple. That's too far. Let's move it here like 50. Should be good. All right. Let's trim this part and do the same here. Now let's see what's going to look like if I finish this. There it is. Looking good. Now let's use a different profile. Let's copy the profile of the floor that we have. I believe that's oak flooring. So click this one here. Go to material. This one, there it is. It looks bad apparently, so let's just use the material here instead. I believe this is sash, if I remember correctly. There it is. Looks a little bit big, but let's leave it as is. Now, let's do the sweep for these other two doors here. We can actually copy paste it. So let's go back here and it's sweep. Select profile, edit profile. Just simply press tab until it selects all of it. Click, control C, and finish. Now, let's do a copy paste for all of it. Once done, it should look something like this. Now, just one last step here. Let's add a generic model here so that we can hide our slab that's showing up here. How to do that? Again, we're going to be using sweep. So, component, model in place, generic, use a sweep right here, take path, and 
let's click somewhere here should be good enough now let's do a very common design something like hmm. just keep up with me a little bit here and I'm just gonna do something very weird Should be good. Okay, something simple like this would do, but go back to edit sweep here, pick path, and let's extend it a bit like this. Let's copy paste the profile. And finish. Now, I'm not yet done. Let's go back to create again. Another sweep on the other side. Here. Copy paste that. Let's rotate this to 180 degrees. There. I think it's wrong. I don't know. Let's give it a try. No, it's alright. It's perfect. Go to pick path and extend this here. Okay, and finish. What are we missing? It's protruding out here on the side. That shouldn't happen. How to fix that? Let's do a void on the same generic model like we did earlier. Click this here, edit in place. Go to create, void form, void extrusion. Let's go up here on the top. Let's make something here. All right, just something like this. Let's just wing it. Now align here, there. Let's see if I can click the point here. All right, perfect. Should be good enough. Finish that. And before we finish, make sure this is a void. Finish here. Now, let's just drag this up here like this, or to be easy, let's click it here. And this one right here. Perfect. This one's still a little bit longer, so let's make it like this. And should be finished now if I click this here. Nope, forgot to cut it. There, do the other side as well. There we go. Look at that. Now it looks a little bit better now. Click here and use a material. I forgot the name of this material right here. Let's go back to finish. Let's click this one. Go to edit, exterior, paint. Just copy paste that. Go back to edit. Here, do the same on the other side. All right. And we're done. Okay, so that's it. Still something showing here if I were to go to front. So I guess that's up to you to fix that. Make up a design on your own. And that's it. So next up, we'll try to do some displacement, displacement 3D or whatever I think of. Okay, that's it for this video. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful or even interesting, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.